been exposed to being pedophiles, traitors. You have other nations coming together, dropping a banner, coming together, building missions, and declaring war on America, man. Now give me the book and we're going to show you in the Bible what true independence is, man. What true liberation is. Right? Give me the book of our first, Second Chronicles, chapter 25 and verse 2. We're going to show you where Yahweh, Bashan Abishai, has built for our fathers in the days of old. And these are the days coming back for you so-called white men, man. Read that. Second Chronicles, chapter 25 and verse number 2. And, and verse number 10. And then Amaziah separated them to wit the army that was come to him out of Ephraim, we to go home again before the anger was greatly kindled against Judah, and they returned home in great anger. And Amaziah strengthened himself and led for his people, and went to the valley of Sop and smote the children of Syria. And did what? And smote the children of Syria. He worshiped their God. And smote the children of Syria. He went off. And smote the children of Syria. See, the Lord at one time used to kink a so-called black man to destroy the so-called white man. To destroy the children of Syria. Syria. Who are the children of Syria? You French, you German, you Italians, you Russians, all of you so-called white men, you are the children of Syria. And you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to know the God that you serve. The God that you serve in the ancient times has given you power to take your enemy down, man. Give you power to enslave these nations, man. And David had the so-called white man in captivity, man. David had them in garrisons, man. And the side threw them off a cliff, man. David, give me Psalm chapter 137 right, and, and verse 6. You hear that so-called white man? You hear your days are numbered? You hear that God is going to use us to destroy you and your entire race? How do you feel about that? See, he doesn't know what's going on, man. You want to so say, Hulk Hogan has no idea what's going on, man. You have no idea what's going on. Right? Hey, and, and this is how you know this kingdom is falling because back in the day, we wouldn't be able to come in front of the White House and do this, man. The Lord is destroying his place, man. Now you have the children of Israel coming in front of the most sacred place in Babylon the Great, prophesying his downfall, man. This ain't the 1950s anymore, man. This ain't the 1960s anymore, man. This is the end of the world, man. Wait. Come Second Chronicles 25 and verse number 11. And how Messiah stripped himself and led for his people and went to the valley of salt and smote the church of sin. And did what? And smote the church of sin. And did what? And smote the church of sin. Read. 10,000. How many? 10,000. How many? 10,000. How many? 10,000. The Lord killed 10,000 white men, man. For us. For us, right. man. The Lord used our men to destroy your enemies. 10,000, man. Read. And other 10,000 left alive did the children of Judah carry away captive. Carry away what? Carry away captive. What are we going to do? Carry away captive. See, this is coming back on the earth again, man. Destroy 10,000 Edomites. Take the other 10,000. Put chains on them. Put shackles on them. Put manacles on them. And lead them away captive, man. Read. And brought them until the top of the rock. And brought them to the top of the rock. And cast them down. And did what? And cast them down. That's as high as that rock was, man. We took 10,000 Edomites and cast them down from the top of the building, man. We and cast them down from the top of the rock that they all were broken in pieces. They all were broken in pieces. What does that mean they all were broken in pieces, man? That's a head over there, a leg over there, a tooth over there, an ear over there, a kneecap over there, man. This is the power of Yahweh by Shemar Shah, man. And this is the power that the Lord is going to give us in the last days, man. Give me the old Jonah chapter 1 and verse 3. Read that. Come. It's the book of Jonah chapter 1 and verse 3. But Jonah rose up. Oh, they were. Verse 1. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, that what? That great city. And cry against it. And do what? And cry against it. No, and cry against We're doing the same thing our forefathers did, man. The Lord didn't say, come out here and march, man. The Lord didn't say, come out here and hold a Black Lives Matter, son. Show me the Bible where the Lord said protest, man. Show me the Bible where the Lord said run for Congress. Run for office. Run for senator, man. Run for mayor, man. The Lord told our men, when you go to these heathen kingdoms, prophesy against it, man. Declare the sins that they have done and tell our people to repent. This is what we're doing in the last days. We will get a rise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it. And do what? And cry against it. 
For the wickedness is come up before me. The homosexuality. For the wickedness is come up before me. The faggotism. For the wickedness is come up before me. With the transatlantic slave trade. For the wickedness is come up before me. With the drugs and the crack. For the wickedness is come up before me. The Lord is watching. The Lord is recording. The Lord has angels like he had in Sodom and Gomorrah writing every sin that the so-called white man has done, man. And bringing it up to the men's side. The Lord sent Jonah to cry against it for the wickedness is coming before the Lord, man. And that's why we're out here to speak on God's behalf and declare the judgment in the end of the world. Give me the book of Nahum, chapter 1, and give me verse 7. Start at 1, Nahum 1 and 1. Nahum 1, verse 1. And if you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you don't repent and come out of the world, you're going to be destroyed too, man. This is your calling to stop celebrating July 4th. This is your calling to stop celebrating Christmas. To stop celebrating Mother's Day and Father's Day and Easter and voting and looking up for America to save you, man. This dollar is collapsing, man. His buildings are falling apart. His president can't speak. His son is on crack, man. What else does God have to show you, man, that America is finished? Hey, Nahum 1 verse 1. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkishite. Yahweh is jealous. The Lord said, Yahweh is jealous. You don't care. Yahweh is jealous. Who's Yahweh? The God of our fathers, man. A so called black man. Give me Exodus 15 and 3. And Yahweh is a man of war, man. He is not this white Jesus he had put on the churches, man. He is not this effeminate man that you have shown on TV, that you have displayed in the media, that you have shown in the textbooks, man. Yahweh is a man of war, man. Read that. Exodus chapter 15 and verse number 3. People, people don't know about the true and living God, man. Nobody really knows about Yahweh, man. Right? But Yahweh's name is going to be magnified on the earth, man. Everybody on the earth is going to know about the name of Yahweh and the son Yahweh Shah, man. When America's destroyed, it's going to be talking to earth, man. Who did it? Was it the Russians? Was it the Chinese? Right? Was it the Koreans? Was it Iran? Everybody's going to declare, no, it was Yahweh. And they're going to say, well, who's Yahweh? The God of the Israelites, man. Now like, read that, read. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. Read that again. The Lord is a man of war. Read it one more time. The Lord is a man of war. And right now, this is an act of war right here, man. This is an act of war. The Lord is declared war in Babylon the Great, man. We're not waiting on our land, man. The Lord is not waiting on Russia. The Lord is not waiting on China. The Lord is not waiting on Taiwan. Right now, this is an act of war. Give me Isaiah 13 and 1. This is an act of war holding up the banner and declaring it in the gates of the people, man. And these Edomites, they know it, man. Give me Job chapter 15 and give me verse 19. Right? Let me get another read about the shot. These men, they know it. Read, read on. Come on. Exodus 15 and 3. Come on. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yahweh is his name. We don't know his name. Yahweh is his name. We want to be magnified. Yahweh is his name. Who do we serve? Yahweh is his name. We want to destroy the white house. Yahweh is his name. We want to kill our enemy. Yahweh is his name. Yahweh is his name, man. But I shimmer my shot, tell me, shot. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 1. The burden of Babylon. What? The burden of Babylon. This is Babylon, the land of confusion. The land of pedophilia. The land of man that attracted people. The land of the National Association for Man Boy Love, man. The, the, the land of the queers, man. The land of the freaks. The land of interracial marriage. The land of bestiality. The land of slavery. The land of robbery. The land of extortion. The land of plundering. The land of pillaging. The land of hypocrisy. The land of blood. The land of demons. The land of enemy, man. And the Lord is jealous in the last days. What do we do? The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. They never seen men like this in the last days, man. They're looking at all these men. How are they all man? How come they're not selling crap to each other? How come they're paying to each What more can we do to break them down, man? We put drugs in the neighborhood. We gave them guns. We infiltrated the media and taught them how to be negative towards each other. We destroyed their women. We had women rich. What else can we do, man? It's not a bad thing you can do, man. If the beer you hire by Shnabba Shah, you cannot overthrow it, man. Give me an Acts 5 and 39. You can't stop this truth, man. Right, read that again. Read on. Lift me up a banner upon the high mountain. The Lord said, lift me up a banner upon the high mountain. What is that? What is that high banner? The banner says Bible. When you hold up a banner, that is an act of war. That is showing your so-called flag. The Lord is raising up a kingdom inside of a kingdom, man. Nowhere in the history of America have you had another nation form a nation inside of America, man. 
But they don't know this is a kingdom being built up right now. It's not a bunch of niggas out here, man. It's not a bunch of black Hebrew Israelites out here. We are a living, walking kingdom in the land of our enemies, man. Give me Daniel 2 and 44. Give me that face, man. Read. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. Do what? Shake the hand. Do what? Shake the hand. The Lord told us to shake the hand. What does shake the hand mean? Shake the hand means to prophesy the judgments that God has in store for our enemies, man. That means don't hold your tongue. That means don't hide. That means don't be behind, don't be behind the keyboard. That means come out publicly and shake the hand. Read. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. That they may what? That they may go into the gates of the noble. We want, we want Joe Biden to come out here, man. We want Joe Biden and his crackhead son to come out that damn West Wing right there, man. We want them to come out, creep up, and deal with us, man. We want everybody out here, man. We want your congressmen. We want your senators. We want your presidents. We want the half shots. We want the elites, man. man. We want them all out here, man. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. Read. I have commanded my Lord, read them. Then to the two and verse number 44. And in the days of this king, in the days of the European Union, in the days of NATO, in the days of France falling apart, in the days of the, uh, these nations ditching the U.S. dollar, in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. Bunch of niggas. Set up a kingdom. Bunch of black men. Set up a king. What are we? A kingdom. The Lord is setting up a kingdom on the earth, man. We, we shall never. This is not the Black Panthers Party, man. The Black Panthers Party was destroyed, man. This is not the not, not, uh, effing around crew, man. The master, uh, the grand master J, man. This is not nothing led by Malcolm X. This is not NRI. This is not the five percenters, man. This is not Christianity. This is not Black Wall Street. All those things came and were destroyed, man. But the Lord is letting you know something different. What you're looking at, this is forever. Get used to seeing the so-called black man in power. Get used to seeing the so-called black man speak bold. Get used to seeing the so-called black man declare your sins to your face, man. Right, get used to us telling you that you went off and you are not the chosen people of the Lord, man. Right, read on. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. That means not everybody's invited. Right? The Chinese man, you're not invited. If you're a so-called white man in the background, you're not invited, man. Right? If you're they say you gotta invite the white man to the cookout. Right, maybe some man, some white man can he come to the cookout. You can't come to this kingdom though, man. Right? Right, right. None of you damn either can come to this kingdom, man. Right? It shall not be left to other people, right? But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Oh, just some of these kingdoms. All oh, these kingdoms. What about the White House? All oh, these kingdoms. The Lord said, all oh, these kingdoms. Oh, really? And it shall stand forever. Yeah, that the Lord is going to use us to break apart all these kingdoms, man. Right. But what about the so-called white man? The Lord is going to use us too, man. He's going to use us to execute his wrath. And give me wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and 17. And put his spirit in us to destroy our enemies, man. We're not going to need the police, man. We're not going to need the National Guard. We're not going to need the army, man. We don't need our law. What all is our law, man? When that man had that knee on his neck, man. What all is our law when the brother got decapitated, man? What all is our law when he's in the transatlantic slave trade, man? What the hell is this Buddha and these fast guards at, man? Right. Right, the men are getting shot by the police and locked up unjustly, man. Right. There was a 30 man shootout in Baltimore. What the hell is this guy at, man? Right. You're going to find that there is no God but Yahweh. God, shoot me out of shot, man. Right. Now, read that. Was it for Simon? 5, verse 15. Seven, verse 17. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete arm, read, and make the creature his weapon for the big his what? And make the creature his weapon for a thing. We have to forgive them. And make the creature his weapon for a thing. We have to turn the other cheek. And make the creature his weapon for a thing. Hey, this this so-called plantation Christianity. Love your enemy. Let bygones be bygones. Forget about it. It was so long ago. Sleep it under the rug. That's not in the Bible, man. Nowhere in the Bible does the give me Isaiah 49 and 13. Right? As the Lord told us to forget. Right? The Lord said, remember the, uh, the days of old, man. Consider the years of many generations. The Lord said, remember what Amalek kept down to you. Remember the children of Edom. Remember these things, man. You have many commandments charging you not to forget what we have went through as a nation of people, man. Right here. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse number 13. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and bring forth into singing, O mountains, for the Lord hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. 
But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. See, all people say, the Lord has forsaken me, man. Why would I serve a God that put us in slavery? Why would I serve a God that's allowed me to be murdered by the police? You had men that say that. Why would I serve a God that has us in the industrial prison complex? That has us destroyed? That has us left away, man, in the ghettos and the slums? Zion said, my Lord has forsaken me. We. And my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her suckling child? That she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget. Yet will I not forget thee. Now the Lord forgot about sleep. Yeah, will I not forget thee. We now have to remember that. Yeah, will I not forget thee. About the buck breaking. Yeah, will I not forget thee. About the castration. Yeah, will I not forget thee. About the genocide. Yeah, will I not forget thee. About the experiment. Yeah, will I not forget thee. What about black oil rash? Yeah, will I not forget thee. What about raping little boy? Yeah, will I not forget thee. The Lord will not forget thee, man. That's that said the Lord, man. So there's nothing that you so-called white men or you other nations can do to make us forget, man. They may forget, but the Lord is not going to forget, man. For the damn past thousands of years, all people have been taught to let bygones be bygones, man. Right, sweep it under the rock. Love your enemy, man. Right, that's not in the Bible. The Lord says, yep, will I not forget thee, man. Even to this very second, the Lord has angels recording these things, man. Recording the sins of America. The Lord sent angels into Sodom and Gabor, man. To see if they were evil according to the cry of what? And the Lord has angels out here right now, man. Recording all of the secret dark, illuministic activity in the White House, man. All of the child sacrifice. All of the missing children that go to D.C., man. All of the sex trafficking. All of the human trafficking, man. All of the dark, illuministic, dark, dark, demonic works of the so-called white man. The Lord is watching and recording these things, and he will not forget our affliction as a people, man. That's why the Lord is going to make us a weapon for revenge. Read on the wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, 5 verse 17, reading on. And make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of a helmet. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. His severe wrath shall be sharp before his sword. And the word, and the what, and the world, and the what, and the world, where that word, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. So the word is Israel. We're going to fight with your other shot. I think the unwise. Who is the unwise? The other nations, man. You are the unwise. You are the ones that say it's okay for a man to marry an animal. You are the ones that say it's okay for a man to marry a little boy. You are the ones that say it's okay for a woman to marry a woman. You are the ones that, 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 that creates these damn bugged out uh, uh, systems called minor attractive people, man. They say I could be a grown man, but I'm attracted to a three-year-old little kid, man. You are that filthy, abominable kingdom, man. Right, we don't. So, to the 137 verse 6, if I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. See the Lord said, if we forgot Jerusalem, let me not say a damn thing, man. Let me shut this mic down and go home, man. If I don't remember my homeland, if I don't remember Jerusalem, if I don't remember my Zion, if I don't remember the temple, if I don't remember the sacrifices, if I don't remember the law, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, man. Let me go home and I say a damn thing, man. We, if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O oh Lord, the last thing. Remember, O oh Lord, forget. Remember, O oh Lord. You hear that so called white boy? You hear that so called white woman? You hear what God said about you? Do you believe in the Bible? Come up here if you believe in the Bible. Walk up here if you believe in the Bible. Walk up here if you believe in the Bible. Both of y'all come up here if y'all believe in the Bible. Come on this side. Come on this side. What is, there, you good, you good right there. You good, you good. He's good right there. What is your name? Alex. Alex, Alex are you homosexual? No. How do you feel about homosexuality? I don't have a opinion. They're fine? Yeah, they're people. They're people. Does God feel the same way that you feel? Uh, probably not, no. But you said you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. So what does God say about homosexuals in the Bible? They what? It's a, it's a sin. Give me Leviticus 20 and 13. Come on. Leviticus chapter. I'm gonna ask you another question after this. Come on. Leviticus chapter 20 verse number 13. If a man also learn with mankind, as he learn with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. They shall, they shall surely be put to death. And their blood shall be upon them. You believe that Alex said homosexuals should be killed? If you believe in the Bible, you should accept that, right? 
So, so you, so you accept when, when the Lord returns, He's gonna kill all homosexuals? No, not that far. I don't want to support that. No. But you want to, but that's in the Bible. So you, so you really don't believe in God? Do you have homosexual friends? Right, but you have to go. Well, if you believe in the Bible, the Lord says He's gonna come back and destroy them all. So Alex, it seems like you're not a man of the Lord, man. Would you say that you're a man of the Lord? Do you, well, well, we know, okay, we know that, Alex. I guess not. Well, well maybe, maybe, maybe we're wrong. Right? Maybe we should ask you another question. How do you feel about slavery? Uh, it's just a bad thing? Terrible. Like a toothache? Terrible. Like a migraine? Horrible. What do you mean a bad thing? Terrible. Terrible? Yeah. What about the worst thing that can ever happen to a people? Pardon? The worst thing that can ever happen to a people, right? To have everything that you, your freedom take away from you. And who took away our freedom, Alex? Alex, who took away the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, American man's freedom? Great question. Did I? I'm asking you, who did it? What people did it? Uh, white people. Say it in the mic. <laughs> Say white people took away black people's freedom. White people took away. Hold on, hold on. Face, face DC and say white people took away black people's freedom. White people took away black people's freedom. Why are you laughing? Now I'm serious. Isn't it serious? But why are you laughing? Do you believe that white people took away black people's freedom? Say it again. You better not laugh. White people took away black people's freedom. Say it again. White people took away black people's freedom. Everybody heard Alex. You confess that white people took away black people's freedom. Now, what is God going to do to so-called white people for taking away our freedom? Give me Isaiah chapter 14 and 1. Now, we're going to show you, Alex, what God has in store for you. That's your girlfriend. That's your girlfriend. Okay, this is, what, what's your name? Uh, Sage. Sage. Well, this is for you too, Sage. Read that. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Yeah. To the Lord who has mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strange and the and the strange the strangers is everybody that's not an Israelite. That's right. Right, go on. Show me what's your ethnicity? Uh, half Cuban, half uh, German. Half Cuban, half German. What's your father's uh, ethnicity? Cuban. Your, your father's all Cuban. Spaniard? Okay, well you're you're a so-called white man. Alright, go on. Come on. And the strangers shall be joined with the almost, Alex. Almost. almost. Right? The conversation almost shifted. But, but it didn't. It didn't. Right? Go on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. The Lord said the other nations are going to cleave unto us. And the people shall take them. What the Lord said. And the people shall take them. The white men take so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, Americans, or did they ask for us to come over here? Which one did they take or did they ask? They took, so God says we're going to take all the other races, read, and bring them to their place. And bring them to Jerusalem. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them. When you possess something, you what? You own it. So the Lord is going to have us own you, Alex and Sage, read, in the land of the Lord. It's going to happen in D.C. In the land of the Lord. For what? For servants and handmaids. What are they going to be? For servants and handmaids. How do you feel about being a slave to all of these men up here. Right. You don't want that. Why wouldn't you want it? It's in the Bible. It's justice. That's right. Surely D.C. and America is founded on so-called justice, right? Don't they have Lady Liberty? Don't they have the Statue of Liberty? Isn't America built off of a constitution? Doesn't it say we the people? So shouldn't you be about justice? Good question. Alex, are you about justice, yes or no? Wait, so why wouldn't you like the justice of God? Oh, well, Alex feels like it should be bad for him. Alex feels like slavery should be bad for him. Come on. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We're going to rule over you with an iron rod. Now, now, here's a question, Alex. You had a chance today that a lot of so-called white men don't have. That's right. Today's a day for you. Today's a day to turn over a new leaf. Today's a day to, to, to make things right. Right now, are you willing to make things right for the years and hundreds of years and centuries of slavery, castration, rape, and robbery, and murder, Alex? Is today that day for you? Well, I'm asking you, is today that day to make things right? Regardless of what it is, you should want to make it right. Right? Because maybe, maybe, maybe slavery might not happen to you. 
if you make things right. Now, when you read in the Bible what God commanded, are you going to do it? Read Isaiah 49 and 23. This is how God commanded to make things right. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse number 23. Now, Alex, you said you believe in the Bible. Now, read and kings shall be their missing thought. What the Lord said? And kings shall be their missing thought. So the other leaders of your world, they're going to be our nursing fathers, our servants. Go on. And their queens, their nursing mothers, they shall bow down to thee. They shall what? They, they shall, shall bow, bow down, down to thee. thee. What the Lord said? They, they shall bow down, down to thee. thee. How do you make things right? They, they shall, shall bow down, down to thee. thee. What the what? With their face toward the earth. Head in the sky. With their face toward the earth. Read it. And look up the dust of thy feet. Alex, if you are a man of the Lord, if you are a man of justice and you believe in the Bible, and if you're wrong, right, if you feel bad, then you're going to bow down to the Israelites for what your ancestors have done. Let's make it happen. Get down quick. No, no, a real bow. On your knees. Yeah, yeah, it's a bow. All the, letting that no, no, bow down with your head on the ground. Stay there and let me finish the verse. What the f Hold on, we're not, Alex, we're not, we don't, we're not done. Get back there, we're not done. Read. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. We're six inches up. With their face toward the earth. With this what? With their face toward the earth. Alex, with your face towards the earth. Read. And lick up the dust of thy feet. And do what? And lick up the dust of thy feet. And do what? And lick up the dust of thy feet. And lick up the dust of thy feet. You have to lick up, you have to kiss that man's boot for a sincere apology. Alex, do it. No, Alex, that's not a sincere apology. Alex, that's not sincere. Alex, Alex. No, Alex. Alex, do what's right. Alex, you're not truly sorry. No, Alex isn't truly sorry. Alex isn't truly sorry, Shame on Alex, man. Shame on Alex the hypocrite, man. So we all going to destroy men like Alex, man. Right? And even if you bow, you can't escape the judgments of the Lord, man. Right, right? now, you so-called white man looking in the back, that's coming to you too, man. That's the judgment for all these so-called white men, man. No matter where you came from, where hell you came out of, what mountain you jumped out of, and what eagles wings you landed with, man. That's the judgment coming to these other nations, man. Right, so go back to the book of uh, uh, um, Isaiah, I mean, Psalm chapter 137. Now read that. Psalm chapter 137, verse 7. And we're going to run up on Alex, man. We right. hope the Lord preserve Alex for the day of the Lord, man. We're going to run upon him with a battle axe and just throw him like this, man. Chop the lane his damn leg, man. Then he's going to bow down, man. Right. 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 Remember, oh Lord, the children of Edom. Get about Alex. Remember, oh Lord, the children of Edom. Let bygones be bygones. Remember, oh Lord, the children of Edom. The Lord said, remember, oh Lord, the children of Edom. And 70 AD, they burnt the temple down. They desecrated the altar. The Babylonians, they destroyed the, the whole city, and the Edomites came and burnt the temple down too, man. 586 B.C. These are the dates that you as well should we be, uh, remember, man. Not no damn July 4th, man. You should remember the summer of 586 B.C., man. The time of 70 A.D. The time of Antiochus Epiphanes, man. These are the days and the dates that you should have in your mind, man. Not no damn July 4th, man. Marking off the cap to, to celebrate the so-called white man's freedom, man. From other so-called white men. So the Lord said, remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom, really? In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it. Who said, what? Raise it, raise it, do what? Raise it, raise it. Even to the foundation thereof. They said, burn it down. Kill a priest. Kill a woman. Burn it down even to the foundation thereof. Read. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast as served us. See, Jake, you happy to be in the grill today, man. You happy to pop the fireworks today, man. Well, you're happy to turn on the news and watch the fireworks downtown. You're happy to walk up and down D.C. and put on a show, man. That's what you're happy for, man. You're happy that you got the day off today, man. Well, you're happy for all of the wrong damn reasons, man. The Lord said you should be happy to pay these other nations back for what they have done to us, man. You should be happy to enslave them. Happy to put them on a the ship, man. I want to put them on a the so-called ship, man. I want to see them stacked up like sardines, man. I want to whip their back in the field, man. I want a yoke of iron around their neck, man. These are the things that I want to see on my enemy, man. But we don't. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth that what? That taketh and dasheth that little one. Hold on, now they say, well, you can't read that in the Bible. Don't read that verse. Right? Don't go out there and read that in front of the White House. That's not wise. 
Right? You don't want to stay. You got to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Read anything but Psalms 137, all right? Right? You can go to Isaiah 13. You can go to Isaiah, but don't read. Don't read Psalms 137. You don't want them to be mad at you, man. You got to use wisdom, all right? Read it, read it, read it again. Happy Shahid B. What the Lord say? Happy, happy Shahid B. You got to do what? Happy Shahid B. The Lord said, happy Shahid B. That take it and dash it at what? That take it and dash it. That little ones against the stone. Put them in bed. Against the stone. Against the what? Against the stone. The Lord said we are going to be happy to take the infants. Damn, three years old, two years old, six months, one month, newborn, four years old, five years old, man. Right? Take them out their mother's arms. Grab them by the back of their head and dash them against the stones, man. Right? Now you may say that's harsh. You may say that's me. You might say that's not right, man. That's justice according to the Bible, man. That's true justice. And in that day, that's your true independence, man. This ain't your damn independence, man. You niggas got to clock in tomorrow. You be up there at 7 a.m., man. 8 a.m. on the clock, man. Right with damn seafood sickness, eating your damn seafood boy tonight, man. Eating your ship, your grilled ship, man. And your damn baby back ribs. True independence is when the Lord delivers you out of slavery, man. That's right. True independence is when your God returns and frees you from Babylon the Great. True independence is when you take these babies. No matter how old they are, man. No matter how much they love their mother. No matter how much their mother cries. No matter what, no mercy, man. They didn't show you any mercy. When is it come to the so-called white man showed you mercy? When is it kind of them turning the other cheek on you? When is it kind of them loving you, man? Where right, these things never happen. So that's why the Messiah said, Happy shall you be that take it and dash it thy little ones and catch the stones, man. Go on, read on. Go to the book of that Nahum, chapter 3, and give me verse 14. Nahum 3, verse 14. Bring it out. And this stuff, this excites us, man. We don't get excited about the NBA playoffs. We don't get off on the draft, man. We don't care what's going on in the world, man. All we do is look forward to the second coming of our Lord, man. We look, we look forward to this place going down, man. We envision the White House being destroyed, man. We imagine the chairs come and sap it and burning it up, man. I can see the damn obelisk being built and exploded, man. I can see that damn flag on fire, man. I can see that white man in the hills burnt in pieces, man. We can envision and see these things, man. These are the things we look forward to, man. The Lord said, why well, we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal, man. That's thus said the Lord. Read that. Nahum 3, verse 14. Draw thee waters for the siege, fortify thy strongholds. Go into clay and tread the mortar. Make strong. It's homosexual so-called white men. Right. Like a bunch of homosexuals, man. This is what America has become, man. They become a, 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 these are not the ancient Greeks, man. The ancient Lord, they was homosexuals too. They are always homosexuals. Right, but they're worse in this age, man. Right, read on. Make strong the brickling. There shall the fire, the fire devour thee. The sword shall cut thee off. The, the sword shall cut thee off. Are you going to slavery so called right, man? You want to grab out that SUV? Put that chain on your neck, man. Grab out that damn SUV, man. Drag you up here and make you bow down to the men of the Lord, man. Give a damn about the so called white man yelling in the back of a damn fan, man. The Lord will destroy that fan, man. We're going to have that spiritual power to bring that fan back up here, man. Take our damn hand and bring that fan right back here, man. We're going to try to lock the door and the niggas are rolling up the damn window. We're going to break that damn glass open, man. Try to do that damn glass like you do us when we get pulled over. We're going to pull your ass over, man. Man, we're not going to care. We ain't going to ask you no wallet, man. We don't have to ask for insurance, man. We want blood in those days, man. We, there shall the fire devour. What do you want to say? There shall the fire devour. Come to D.C. There shall the fire devour. Why do you think Russia, China, Iran, and all of these other nations are building up an alliance right now, man? Why do you think blood breaks is happening, man? Why do you think Ethiopia, Iran, uh, South Africa, Brazil, all these nations are departing from the American dollar, man? Because the Lord is going to use them to uh, summon up these missiles to destroy D.C., New York, L.A., and all these simple cities, man. Read. The sword shall cut thee off, and shall eat thee up like the canker worm. Make thyself as the canker worm, make thyself many as the locust. Thou hast multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven. The canker worm spoileth and flyeth away. 
thy crown are as the locusts, and thy captains as the great grasshoppers, which came in hedges in the cold day. But when the sun ariseth, they flee away, and their place is not known where they are. I mean, the only way of leaders when the Lord returns, they're going to be wiped off the earth. Read. Thy shepherds slumber, O king of Assyria. What the Lord say? Thy shepherds slumber, O king of Assyria. Read that again. Thy shepherds slumber, O king of Assyria. Who are the shepherds of, the, uh, of Assyria? Why your president, man? He can't even walk. His son, I mean, he's getting caught with that nasty laptop, man. Why right. he's all on crack, man. Why your world leaders are slumbering, man. America's leading at this system, and their world leaders are leading them down the drain, man. America's the worst in education. Their buildings are falling apart. Their society is collapsing. Their currency is no longer profitable. Right? The police force is being killed off and wiped off, man. Right? Everybody's separated from the ways of America, man. So the Lord said, thy shepherd slumber, meaning your world leaders and the politicians that are supposed to keep this place in order, they don't have the answers, man. Because the Most High is using them to break this place apart. Read on. Thy nobles shall dwell in the dust. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains, and no man gathereth them. There is no healing of thy people. The Lord said, there is no healing of thy people. They can make it. There is no healing of thy people. There's no healing of your people. The Lord is whipping you up, man. And there's no uh, a stimulus package that can help you, man. Right, right, right. John, Donald Trump can't help you. Right. Joe Biden can't help you. The next man in office can't help you, man. There's nothing that you can do to save America. Right? There's no military might. There's no law that you can pass. There's no budget that you can extend. There's nothing you can do to stop the judgment of the Holy Ghost and the Son, man. The Lord said there is no healing of thy bruise. Read. Thy wound is grievous. Thy what? Thy wound is grievous. Thy wound is grievous. Thee. And all that hear the brute of thee shall clap their hands over thee. And everybody's going to mock when this place is cast down, man. Right, right. Everybody's going to clap their hands. Give me Isaiah 14 and 7, man. Right? Who hasn't been a victim of the so-called white man's oppression, man? Give me one country that hasn't been infiltrated and robbed and oppressed by Esau, man. Esau went all into Africa and sliced it up like a piece of pie, man. You have the Germans over here. Right? You have the French over here. Right? You have the, uh, the Dutch over here, man. Uh, the so-called white men expanded and robbed our whole earth, man. Yeah. They went into Japan, and they became the last samurai, man. Right. right? They went into the so-called land of Africa, not of the South Africans, man. Right? They went into all the earth and raped, robbed, and murdered, man. Who are they they destroyed, man? Read that again. All that hear the boot of thee shall clap their hands over thee. For upon whom have not thy wickedness passed continually? What the Lord said. For upon whom have not thy wickedness passed continually? Read that one more time. For upon whom have not thy wickedness passed continually? That's a rhetorical question, man. And brother, hey brother, we need to separate from the so-called white man. Right, right. today's the day. You got to separate from the so-called white man, man. If it's any day, it should be today, man. 1776, he ain't look, man. There was it today to be hand in hand with Esau, man. No days to be hand in hand with Esau. Right, so the Lord said, upon whom has not thy wickedness passed continually, man? So read Isaiah chapter 14, give me verse 4. Huh? Isaiah chapter 14 and verse number 4. Yeah. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How are the oppressors cease? The oppressors going to cease in those days, man. See, Yahushua is the true king on the earth, man. Yahushua is the only one that's going to rule the earth, man. He's going to kill your presidents, your congressmen, your senators, your secret service, your mayors, your delegates, your aldermen. The Lord is the, main, the reigning king on the earth. We don't. God. The golden city ceased. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked. The Lord said. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked. You're going to rule. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked. The Lord is breaking your power structure down, man. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. And the scepter of the rulers, he's he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole, the whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into sea. So the whole earth is going to be quiet in those days, man. Right? The whole earth is going to rest. The world is going to have rest. The air is going to have rest. The trees are going to have rest. The soil is going to have rest. The saints are going to have rest. The animals are going to have rest. The damn wind is going to have rest. Everything's going to have rest when this damn demon is off the earth, man. That's why he has to be exterminated off the face of the earth because he's done nothing but to the earth, man. Like, if I'm going to get Jeremiah 51 and 25.
God. Give me Genesis 39 and 1. Give me St. John 12 and 28 and Revelation 18 and 21. Read Jeremiah 51 and start at 25. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying known. Suck it. O destroying known, said the Lord, which destroyed all the earth. Which does what? Which destroyed all the earth. What America could do? Which destroyed all the earth. What did Esau do? Which destroyed all the earth. 99% of the animals are extinct, man. The air is polluted in every major city. Everybody's homosexuals are burnt out, man. You can't even drink of the water anymore. Right? The whole earth is damn uh, broken up because you stole all the oil from it, man. So there's earthquakes and strange things in the earth because you have had the earth and now ruled it according to the laws of God, man. So thou has destroyed the earth. Give me another. Read on, read on. God. And I will stretch up my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. And it will make thee a burnt mountain. What is Russia going to do? And it will make thee a burnt mountain. What is China going to do? And it will make thee a burnt mountain. And the Lord is going to make America a burnt mountain. And your fire department can't save it, man. The police department can't save it. The secret service can't save it. The ambulance can't save it, man. The so-called white man can't save it. The lady can't save it. The crack can't sound can't save it. The police department can't save it. Nobody can save it, man. This place is down. Don't set the Lord. Don't set the eye of the man. Give me Revelation chapter 18 and 21. Give me the book of Genesis 49 and 1. And give me St. John chapter 12 and 28. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, That's what burn, that's what I have. That's what burn, that's what burn, that's what burn, that's what much, that's what burn. Read, that's what burns. Shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be thrown no more at all. That's right, give me Genesis chapter 49 and 1. It's the book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves to God, stay at home. Gather yourselves to God, individual. Gather yourselves to God, they were Esau. Gather yourselves together. Celebrate July 4. Gather yourselves together. That I may tell you that we shall befall you in the last day. And you're living in the last days, man. You're living in the end of the world, man. There are more chariot sightings in the sky than you have ever seen, man. Right? There's more chariot sightings. There's more bombs being created. There's more Israelites waking up. There's more so-called white men going into slavery, man. Written according to the Bible. So you have more and more prophecies coming to pass. And the Lord said that this place will go down, man. You're living in the last days, my Ruther. St. John, to the 12 and verse number 28. Father, go on to that name. We all should say, Father, go on to that name. With the son of man say, Father, go on to that name. With the king of kings say, Father, go on to that name. Read. Then came the first of heaven saying, I will glorify him and will glorify him again. And with that, we want to give our honor and our glory to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach from the right hand side. Back to the so called white man. Back to the so called white man. Back to Russia. Back to Russia. Back to DC. Back to the White House. Back to Joe Biden. Back to the White House. Back to the White Everybody come up. Come yourself. Come yourself. Come yourself. Right here. Right here. Oh, right here, right behind you, huh? The same thing, huh? Hey, back a little bit more. A little bit more back so you can see some kind of move. In case somebody wants to come. Right side of the yellow flag, next to the river. Next to Move that side back, huh? All the way back. Well, this is back. No, no, this side right there. This, this one. This one. Yeah, move it. 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 Break this back, huh? Right. And put it this way, too. Go, 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 this way. That's it. Yeah. And bring that one back a little bit. It's a lucky. Bring this back. Yeah, bring that a little bit. We're going to put this right here so we can see it. Right. No, we can't have this sign. You can't have this sign. Hey, you want, you, want you want the mic up here? Or yeah. It's fine right there. No, the mic, come on. Come in. Everything coming out. The people can't really see it. Yeah, we might. Oh, use these right here. Okay, go. Oh, right here. Look. 
Come here, Shola. 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 Get Psalms 83, you start at verse, verse 1. We come to spin the block. We come to draw angles spiritually. We got them chapters for you from the Bible, from the Most High God, Jehovah, by Shimei Abishai. Bring that out, okay? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. God, we, we, we ask the Most High God to be not still. We ask the Most High God to bring death and destruction, not only on the goddamn White House, but on every nation of Edomites across the world, like he said in Ezekiel. And like Ezekiel 35, he said, listen, throw your hands up against my seer. Prophesy against it. There's death and there's destruction. Read on. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Now who? Thine enemies make a tumult. Who's these enemies? Read on. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. No, they love you, huh? And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. No, forget about it, man. Pull your bootstraps up. Everybody love everybody right now. It's all good. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. What have they done? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. That damn Joe Biden, that came in a lot, Harris, they have taken crafty counsel along with Congress and all those representatives of your states. You know what? and have consulted against thy hidden ones. And they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. What they say? They, let them cut them off from being a nation. What's Joe Biden say? Come, let them cut them off from being a nation. Came on the right hands, what's she saying? Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. What's Xi Jinping saying? Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. All these other nations, not only just America, we're gonna rebuke America and the rest of the world. The most high God destroyed them all. Read on. That the name of Israel. That the name of who? That the name of Israel. That the name of who? That the name of Israel. That's you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Maybe no more what? Maybe no more in remembrance. But what the most high has set in place, you can't get rid of. You're not going to get rid of the most high God's children. We call us babies' kids. We don't die, we multiply. Read on. For they have consulted together with one consent. What did they do? For they have called consent, Zaki. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are they are confederate against me. Now we roll with you. Listen, Black Lives Matter, King. They are confederate against thee. Forget about it, man. Listen, that was years ago, man. But they want you to remember 9-11. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of who? The tabernacles of Edom. Who's in this goddamn White right House? The tabernacles of Edom. Who's in there? The tabernacles of Edom. Damn, Joe Biden and his crackhead son? The tabernacles of Edom. You just found cocaine in there. You worry about pushing us back off the damn sidewalk. How come you ain't talking about that report that came out on Sunday? How you found cocaine in the library of the White House, and then you want to worry about pushing us back off the streets? This is hell to pay for that, man. Let me get Isaiah 14, man. Somebody give me Isaiah 14, 21. Because these bastards got to pay, man. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. What? Prepare slaughter. What slaughter? What a slaughter. That's massive killing. And it's not even going to come by our hands yet. It's going to come by the king. It's going to come by the king of kings. The king of kings. The God. The, the, the son of the most high God, Jehovah Shai, he's about to destroy every last one of you nations. He's already started. Right. He's just waiting to make his grand entrance. Read on. Prepare slaughter right. for his children. For, what? for his children. For the iniquity of their father. Every single thing that you so-called white people have done to us, you have to pay for. Right. Right. We bent over backwards for your damn asses, and you haven't done a damn thing for us. Right. You don't talk about reparations, but you give everything else to everybody else. You got Afghanis coming over here. They, you, you cut off the stimulus checks for the black Hispanic Native Americans that needed that from your damn from, from your damn pandemic, right? You give it to the damn Afghanis who came over here on the bottom of the damn plane, 
You want to give that to them instead of to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who built up every goddamn thing in this country. Right. 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 Keep reading. That they do not rise. No, they do not what? That they do not rise. It's over for America, man. It's time to come and sit in the dust. Why are you so-called white people? Come sit down in the dust. There is no throne. We don't. Nor possess the land. Nor fill the face of the world with city. This is it. This is the last hurrah. Somebody find the fat lady so she can sing on this microphone. Because America is finished. Put a fuck in her. We know you got pre cake. Come on, come on. Let me get Ezekiel 9 and 6. Let me get Ezekiel 9 and 6. They got to they gotta pay, man. They got to pay. Let me get numbers 35, 33. Let me get numbers 35. They have to pay, man. They walk over our backs day in and day out. Wake us feet, backs to the bone, we? We don't. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. It's a lot here. This land is polluted. How is it polluted? It's polluted by every so-called white man, woman, and child, and all you other nations that walk down on these streets in, 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 in D.C. and America. We don't. For blood, it defileth the land. For blood defileth the land. You done destroyed the Native Americans. You destroyed the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You got, you got knees on George Floyd's neck. You choking out Jordan Neely on the damn train. What else, what the hell else you want from us, man? You done took our blood in how many situations? It's time for pay, it's time for payback. It's time for recompense. We know. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. You ain't read that right now. Hold on, man. Wait a minute. A second. Wait a minute. So you said the blood can't be cleansed, but by what? But by the blood of him that shed it. Who shed the most blood across the land? There's only one person who's a more prolific shedder of blood than you so-called white people. Right. And that's the Mashiach Yahweh Shai and the Most High God Yahweh. They're the only two that more blood shed on their hands. But there's his righteous blood. There's his righteous blood. And there's going to be, there's going to be more righteous blood. All you cool ass Negroes that want to run around spouting all this love everybody with your damn train conductor suit on. Talk about playing my music. I got to get paid for my music. Listen, it's going to be death destruction to you in that day as well. Right? Got a precept, okay? Come on, bring it out. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 6. Slay utterly. Old and young. This is what the Most High God's son, Yahweh Shai, is going to do. What's he going to do? Slay utterly old and young. Damn, did we just read the prepared slaughter? Let's listen. Let's read that again. Slay utterly old and young. What? Both maids and little children. No, you can't do this. You gotta, listen, you got to save the children, huh? Both maids and little children. Wait, wait. The women got to catch it, too? And women. But come not near any man whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. So all these brothers out here that sighing and crying for the Most High God, begin now with them. But that man that was back there, lest he repent, he's going to get put to death. He's going to get put to death. That's right. Like you said in Zechariah, chapter 13 and verse 8, all you blacks and Hispanics coming in for America, run around here with your damn shorts on, with the red, white, and blue, that you want to be a part of this, you're going to be getting death and destruction in that third world's world too. Come on, put the show. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. They began at who? The ancient men, which were before the house. That don't sound, that don't sound good for Sleepy Joe. You kind of ancient, man. He can't walk up the damn flight of steps. He can't get on a bike. He can't read a damn key card. <laughs> read that one more time. Yeah. Come, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 6. Slay utterly old and young. Slay utterly old and young. Listen, everybody catching this one, read. Both maids and little children and women and women. Yeah, them women, they're going to catch it too. They're going to get ravished and raped, read all. But come not near any man whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. And you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all got to get right before this place is destroyed. Right. Before this place is destroyed, somebody give me in Revelation 18 and 11. Give me Revelation 18 and 11, because the first and second world was passed. It's time for death and destruction. Read on. You got it, King? There's the book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Verse 14. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after... This is 
the book of Revelations, chapter 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past. And behold, the, th the third woe cometh quickly. It's all lining up right now, man. We had World War One, we had World War Two. The third woe cometh quickly, right? You can see it in the air. You can smell it. Let me get Amos 5 and 20. Let me get Amos 5. You can smell it in the air, man. It's going to be a beautiful time, man, to wake up early in the morning and see that mushroom cloud coming over this White House. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a beautiful thing, man, to be mushroom clouds. It's going to be stabbing. It's going to be murdering. It's going to be looting. It's going to be pillaging. It's going to be like, it's going to be like July 6th all over again. Magnified to the umpteenth power. Read. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness? Shall not the day of the Lord be what? Be darkness? That's kind of a dark day coming for America, man. This is a dark day coming for America because them ICBMs is pointing right here. Russia got one. China got one. This is a wrap. You got Satan one, Satan two. You got Moab. All pointing at America. All to destroy this, this place, which is Sodom and Egypt. Right? Read on. And not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it? It's going to be a little bit light in that day, King. Very dark? And no brightness in it? It ain't going to be no brightness here. Joe Biden going to come out here and it's going to be nothing but darkness. And this place is going to be nothing but utter, utterly destroyed. The whole place is going to be beaten to powder and the residents that live therein, that damn Hunter Biden, that damn Joe Biden, that damn Camelot Harris, all of it's going down. It's all going down, whether they like it or not. Right? This is thus saved the Lord. Let me get Isaiah 55 11. That's how you know it's going to happen. This is thus saved the Lord, man. It's going to be his pleasure. Right. It's going to be his pleasure to destroy these people because they've destroyed his family. Rick? This is the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall not what? It shall not return unto me void. So there's no empty promises with the Most High God. He said his word is going to be, it's going to sure enough happen. Right? Let me get Psalms 137 and 9. There's something else that's going to happen. Let's start at 7, okay? Read that one more time. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent thee. What is the prospering? The prospering is the death and destruction of this damn country. The, the, the prospering is the death and destruction of all you sodomites. The prospering is the death and destruction of you damn transsexuals and transformers. That's the best the promise. That's, that's what it is. It's going to be a beautiful time. We're going to be able to walk around and not see none of that. Your children could go to school and not have to worry about getting taught the gay BCs. Right? Read that, King. God, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Remember who? The children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who saved. Raise it, raise it. You want to burn our damn city down where the Most High God's going to burn your damn White House and all your major cities down. And all you so-called white people are going to be destroyed, and we're going to be laughing at the